Hello YouTube, I've started recording now. I was just telling everybody, i.e. nobody, about uh, the uh, microscopy corner subjects that I recently procured. Oh my, are they a good thing to see? I think they are. Oh yes, um, I'm rambling. <coughs> There's going to be quite a bit of coughing and maybe a bit of throaty sounding voice because um, I've got a, a bit of a sore throat coming on. It's not sore, so to say, it's, uh, I don't know, scratchy. <coughs> With a bit of a cough. I feel okay. Uh, so, right, where were we? Uh, enough babbling about your health. Time to start talking about Dragon Age and resuming the action. <coughs> you have come to the Circle of Magi seeking the help of the mages. Unfortunately, the Circle is in a state of chaos. The Templars have locked the tower and you have been sent inside to investigate. Or just in. You have somehow become the Tha la 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 la. Games, I, I don't often criticise them for loading too quickly. Oh, wait a minute, I'm in the middle of that big weird dream sequence thing. And what the figgins is... I don't see any enemies, it's over here apparently. Oh, I see, a lesser shade. Okay. You just take the lesser shade out, that's what it's all about. What's that? Deadly strike? Why not? We'll have one of them. And I'll bang that. Uh, come on. My time is all taking ages to cool down. Okay, this is getting a bit saucy. It's going to kill me just straight up. I've got no healing left. I got really good at it all of a sudden. Now, not so much. Okay, so what did I learn this time? I learned that there's a shade up there and it's going to hurt me if I approach it. So, shall we ignore that? Should we go through this portal? Or did I just come through this portal before I saved? It's hard to say. Full health, full stamina. Maybe if I stealth it a bit, I could... Ooh. Has it seen me? It hasn't seen me. It is oblivious. Let's attack. Nice. Oh, okay, so we came in with a good open. However, it doesn't seem to have taken much life off, I thought. Well, I hoped it would do more. Ah. Okay. These kind of shenanigans are all fine and dandy when the rest of the party are here, but I don't know I mean. might be wiser to avoid these things. Lesser or no, shades appear to be dangerous. Okay, so I'll turn into a rat, right? What else? That seems like a good idea, yeah? Can I just sneak right past? hole I can nip into and escape? No, of course not. Why would there be a special hole I can through? Oh, can't go around there. Don't touch it. It'll go berserk and kill you. There we are. We're getting there. Sneak past this little fella too. Yes, 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 yes. Gotta find more of my uh, crew before I start thinking about fighting anything. You're there. Can I go to a mouse form? Not in combat. So I have to kill all three of these, or all four of these creatures before I can actually open the door. I don't like that. Can I not leave combat? No? No, you just can't leave combat. You have to kill everything. That's, that's substandard. Well, not substandard. <laughs> be unnecessarily critical of the game there. It's irritating. Ah, the Mr. Wolf. Hello. So, okay, we started out two runs, just straight up death, ran into a fight with one of these shades, a lesser shade, no less. Or no more. 
and it absolutely trounced me. Killed me twice. Even though I tried to sneak up on it and kill it and all sorts of things. Let's just assume that this area here is off limits for now. I don't know what this shrine is. Oh, I can't go through here in combat mode either. I'll just have to die. I just have to go into combat and die. <sighs> okay. So let's just fight this sucker. I'm probably not in mouse form. Why would you do that? That's a bad idea. Okay, this one's not looking so bad now. I've got, ah, crap, I've attracted both of them. It's going to do no good whatsoever. Oh, it's some healing. Yeah, yeah, I definitely think healing is going to be of some use here. Nonetheless, we're back in. Get in there, come on. And we'll just turn around with our tail between our legs and... We are presumably back here, but I don't directly... Oh yeah, oh yeah, the tentacle statue guy. Very, uh... Very weird. What the... Is he supposed to be? Okay, let's forget about that for now. Been through that portal, has a Lyrian vein. Let's get what that gives us. place I accessed by being mouseful. I think it is. Oh, there we go, a little mouse on. In we go. He's very spectacular, he's very flamboyant about turning into a mouse. If he was turning into something impressive, I mean obviously turning into a mouse is in itself impressive, but if he'd been turning into something um, perhaps a little bit more ferocious, a big Whoa! flamboyant gesture like that would make no sense, but faster that way. And I also have this. Some kind of... Oh, this is where I had a conversation with someone, isn't it? I'll come back to here. The guy who was trapped in the... Uh, trapped in the fade. Okay, so let's get down from there again. There's nothing up here for us. Nothing of interest to keep us occupied. Let's get the map up. <coughs> so we've got a mouse hole. Mouse. Oh, that's a fade portal. That's the spirit door and a fade portal. I just don't know what's going on here. Mouse and mouse hole. Well, apparently I'm standing on top of a mouse. Well, maybe, that's, maybe that's just where I met it. There's a mouse hole over here, is there? Okay, let's see where that leads. Shazam! Form of the mouse! straight here. Okay, so let's look at the map now. Where are we? We are here. We want to get to there. So presumably I just turn right and... Oh, no, turn right as of the character. It's over here. Uh, no, clearly wrong. Clearly wrong. It's this way, which is through a wall. Excellent. Excellent news. Okay, so down the mouse hole, and then this way. Okay, so if we head that way, we should end up heading right into the thing. Okay, so we can't go into there. Can't go over here, can we? No? Yes, yes we can, but only in what appears to be an inadvisable way. I think we'll avoid that. Okay, definitely moving away from where I want to be. Was an utterly futile exercise. I literally was running in circles. Oh dear. Okay, so we've got this thing. This is just a little tiny isolated nubbin of land on the end of this mass. Maybe in this weird fade world, geography isn't quite as uh, solid or literal. Okay, I suppose so we have to go. I have to fight these guys. I'm not equipped to fight these guys. Let's have a look at my inventory. I've got, I've got some stuff, I've got things I'm carrying. Let's have a look. Family sword. 
I do, I'll do more, t I'll have more attack if I've got a family sword in one of my hands. Hmm. Let's do it, let's, let's go for the family sword. Two hand, family sword. Dagger and, uh, wait a minute, I've got the family sword in my left hand, haven't I? It didn't go, it didn't. Oh, okay, so we'll take that out, and there we go, put that in. No, can't be done. Ah, oh, right, okay, it has to go with that side. That makes sense. Oh, wait, is this two handed? Hmm. No, it's not two handed. Okay, let's F5 it, turn into a mouse, head back. Oh, wait a minute. What was that about? What happened there? Am I the only person who saw that? Hang on, let's try that again. No? I'm going to have to watch that video back now because... <laughs> Nearly. Okay, let's just do it. Stop mucking around. Do that. Now, this, is this the white mouse hole? Um, yes, it's the white mouse hole. Freeze before we're in there. What are these Lyrian veins doing? Am I even. Is there even a point to me doing it? Who knows? Who knows? But anyway. Cloak. Let's see how things play out when I mix up my weapon strategies. Here we go. A dual weapon sweep as an opener! Going up there, there's more monsters up there. Oh crap! That thing's hindered! Oh. Okay, game on. And I'm not even capable of leaving the area to do something else. I'm trapped! I've been caught in a plot loop! Oh no. Disaster. I've inadvertently stepped into an enclosed area in an open world game and it's starting to get me a bit peeved. I want to get back with my gang. I want to hang out, do stuff, adventure. Not roam around in a dreamlike other world. What's going on? <sighs> okay, well, I suppose I can't. Can I go back? Actually, yeah, I'll go back, which I assume is this way. No, wait, I assume wrong. <laughs> this is terrible. Got the mad skills on this way. Okay, so back here. No, it wasn't the right place. <sighs> I want to go through the portal. There is a portal. No idea. I just get myself utterly lost. I've trapped myself. Okay, so the, is the mouse hole the only way out of here? Seems like it. Okay, so I have, I'll come here in, in an hour. I'm not supposed to be here. I'm not even supposed to be here today. <clears throat> now that portal leads off to those monsters I am incapable of killing. And there's a mouse hole. Am I somehow. Uh, bum? Oh, uh, yes, yeah. I, I uh, somehow think that I've missed something. I've missed something obvious. I'm looking like an idiot. The viewer right now is staring at the screen going, you plum. What are you up to? Just figure it out. Unfortunately, it might be a little beyond me. If only I could sneak past those monsters in stealth without actually triggering combat. That would be nice. Just to be able to straight past them. 
this thing here because it looks significant. I'm sure I've probably interacted it with it previously. Ah, oh, shit. But wait, strategy. You come to me. Is there really anything I can do here to improve my odds? I don't really. Oh, Christ, I thought he was running away. Oh, that was nice. He got some health down. Come on, just get... Just kill him! Just... Oh, there we go. That's it, combat over, right? Combat over. Combat over. Lovely. Whew! Let's let my health recharge. And then hopefully we can kite the next one along. A little bit more. Come on. Okay. Now there should be some form of fire demon. Yep. Hello. Oof. Complete game crash. That's a bit unusual. <laughs> Shit. Uh, please bear with me. Um, technical issues abound. Um, let's uh, quickly get into Steam. I'll have a quick crack of the old play button. Dear, oh dear. YouTube. I'm not going to pause you right now. I'm going to let you... Oh, look, you're back in. You're back in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Resume. <coughs> there we go. We're back. Still gotta kill that damn demon again. Oh well. Right. So, here's the portal. We're all kitted up with swords and whatnot. Maybe I should look at some of the uh, consumables I have in my uh, inventory. Let's have it a look. That's not my inventory. That's my inventory. Uh, so, a shock bomb. When thrown, this bomb explodes with lightning, dealing electricity damage to all creatures it hits. Friendly fire possible. Well, it's only me here, so hopefully my friendly fire will be not of such a degree that I actually hit myself. I think that's just called a failure. Death root extract. Even a quick sniff of this sludge is enough to cause hallucinations. Requires poison making. Weapons coated in this mild poison deal additional nature damage with each hit and may stun the target. Grounding has to do with resisting lightning, I believe. <coughs> Pardon me. Nothing to do with lyrium dust. Got elf root here. Let's uh, pull this out a bit. We'll put the old occasional larger healing poultices and salves over here. Pull down the elf root. I mean, that's a last ditch effort thing, elf root. I'm not really going to be expecting much in the way of results. <coughs> do I have better armor? Probably not, I haven't bought any. Silver ring, does it do anything? I'm not wearing jewellery for the sake of jewellery, good grief. Creation is its cord, fire resistance and healing effects. That's cool. Okay, I'm not going to get any healing effects, but fire resistance is good, I need that. Black grimoire, these are all gifts. Lots and lots of gifts for people who I can no longer talk to. A large flawed lightning crystal. It's basically the armor I'm wearing and shit stuff. I might be seeing red text whenever I hover over them, or brown text. Hello, what's this? So I can have plus two or plus three. Slightly less armor, slightly more physical resistance. Hmm. Hmm. No. No. Okay, well, I think I've got my most out of my uh, inventory right now. Do much better than that. Oh wait, is that stuff I can apply to weapons? That'll be uh, useful. Should I save it for the next fight? Let's just. Uh... No, no, because stealth gets me up close, and that brings the second guy in. So cool. Cool your jets, scoundrel. <clears throat> ah. Talk about what now? Okay, so far so good. 
So far so good. Is health down? Health down? He's halfway down health. I'm not going to use Dirty Fighter because it didn't seem to be have much effect last time. Yes, yes, yes. Push the advantage. Take him down. <sighs> Victory. Okay, that feels good. Just let the combat evaporate. There we go. Let the health bar tick back up. Tock back up. However you want to put it. <clears throat> And there we are, we're back to full health. What's this? Weakness? That's going to expire before I do anything. Okay, so let's survey the scene. Rather than charging in and getting in all sorts of a tears like last time. Oh, the combat starts as soon as I see them, doesn't it? Or as soon as they're at least within sensing range. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Decloaking. That's it, fireman. Oh, oh! Range day! Range through walls? I think not, sir. I think you need to be put in your place. A bit of the old rough and tumble should see for you. Ooh. That was uh, actually quite efficient. I'm, uh, I'm quite pleased with that. Okay. I think is there one more left, or are there more? Yeah, there's one more left. Kaboom! Charge in, come on! Yep. Oh wow, these guys take much more damage than the other one. Or maybe it's just... What have I done that's improved my... There we go, a bit of health food that sorted it right out. Okay, so health tick back up. And then we quickly press F5 in case the game crashes again, or similar. And okay. so I shall. <coughs> Please excuse me with this cough here. Maybe I shouldn't have streamed, but uh, no, I missed the last one. So it's probably Something happened, didn't it? You look a little different. What happened? It's funny you should ask that, because I'm actually not sure. I have failed to absorb a lot of the plot in this game. Uh, I became a mouse. Actually, I think that option rings some Did bells. You? Did it help? I know I saw the tiny holes. Were you small enough to get through? Yes, they're mouse holes. I thought you'd given up. Why so excited? Uh, no, I'll go for yes, it was easy. Uh, just to oh, keep his so level much up. Braver than I am. I was so sure it was impossible to get anywhere. Do you think you could learn other shapes? Maybe they could help you get to places you couldn't otherwise. I see. Yes, that makes sense. I, I, that was explicitly told to me, though, at the point I turned into a mouse, and, and the fact that I have these three other slots here makes that abundantly evident. Thank you, Mr. Redundant. <coughs> oh, maybe I'm being a bit harsh on him. He did, probably doesn't need that kind of uh, aggression. Like the Burning Tower, the Darkspawn Invasion, the Templar's Nightmare, or the Mages Asunder. Let's have a look over here. <coughs> King Kyland. Therian, th Therian, Therian, assumed the throne five years ago. Why even try? Okay, so this looks new. This is somewhere I've not been. We've got mouse holes. Good. Mouse holes tell us a lot. They tell us that this region is traversable. Actually, I might have been here already. There's a door. Okay, we'll leave that for now. Let's just see if there's anything cool. Okay, door. Fair enough. Here we go. Illyrian vein. And a dead end. What a combination. Okay, let's bore! Flim flam! Jesus crisps! Mouse form, mouse form! Oh, no. Well, okay, this whole area is a lot harder than I thought it would be. At least I saved after killing those monsters. I'm back here. Okay, well, we'll try the mouse holes first. That makes more sense to me. Okay, what have we got in here? We've got the Font of Strength. Sounds intriguing. Let's give it a go. Wow, permanent plus one increase to strength. Nice. Not really my primary stat, but save anyway. Ooh, non interactive chest. My ass. 
A new codex. Hierarchy of the Circle. One day I'm going to have to get around to reading all these codices. Codices, is that even right? It's not, is it? Codexes. Codexi. I don't know. I could look it up. Were it important? I would. But right now it's just a throwaway bit of babble. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, this racket is going to drive me mad. Do something about it. Oh, just stuff some wood in your ears. Oh. oh, just stuff some wood in your ears. Okay, so what can we get in this room? Nothing really. So am I supposed to drop these guys just like surprise them? Kapow! Right in the back of the head. Or or what? Because I either walk through the corridor and they go mad. Or too small. Okay. Let's try a different strategy. I'm gonna go in here. Okay. Walk up to it and go in there. Then back to human form. Oh wait. Two doors, except this one. Is locked. As you desire. This door would require massive force to open. Okay, and now we mouse. And now we mouse. Okay. Sneak past the room with the angry guy with sound issues. A second door. Don't know what's in there. A third and a fourth door. This one's open. You see me? Oh, what? Oh no, they're just fighting each other! Hide, hide, hide! Oh! <laughs> that wasn't expected. Yeah, no, no, no. well, might as well see what's in here while we're uh, walking. It's a little bit hairy. <gasps> Zutala, mon dieu! Aggressive. Blimey. We need to calm down a little bit. Okay, we'll have one more little uh, scooch around here and see what's happening. Don't know where to get. What? Oh, I haven't saved. Okay. Let's nail that one down then. <coughs> Pardon me. I'm really feeling quite rough actually. Oh well. You can't catch germs over the internet. Not yet, at least. Um, where was I? There's, wasn't there a door out of here? Oh no, this is a totally different door. Shazam! Mouse! Driving mad. If I hang out here, all the uh... oh, crap, there's people in here too. It's only a servant, though, not an actual wizard. There's no real way of getting down that whole corridor and through there without getting into combat. So I'm going to have a little look around. I'm going to pop back through this mouse hole with my form. And I'm going to go back to that map and. Uh... There we go, back to here. 
back to the Fade pedestal. We'll have a look at the Templar's Nightmare instead. Let's see what that's like. Hmm. Okay, this place looks very similar to the last one, but okay, okay. Got an mouse hole. Got a fade portal. So through the and fade. So portal. I shall. Ooh. Mysterious. What are these mouse holes in here, eh? The turds. Right. Let's get in there and smack that arcane hollow down. Watch out. <laughs> That was going to be much harder fight. Okay. Okay. So there's the fade portal. We've already uh, been through one of those. Oh, what the funky chicken happened? Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Well, we're back where we started, are we? Oh wait, there's another mouse hole over here. Let's try that one out. Oh, <laughs> oh that's fun. Okay. Fuck. Last time I fought one of these guys, I had a, I had a party to deal with it. He's not alone! What level am I supposed to be here? <laughs> oh, that was fair. The size of him. <sighs> okay. So, maybe I should have played Spec Ops the Lion. <laughs> Then I would have got slammed with copyright accusations. How was I to know? I mean, I should have known. In fact, I think I may have even commented on it at the time I heard it. Okay, here we go. The Burning Tower. Mmm. See, it burns. Corridor. Is that, is that open? Okay, well done. Good idea. Stand in the fire. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, this place seems a lot less, uh, a lot less aggressive. Far fewer people here. Although that could be a result of me slaughtering them wholesale at some previous. Oop. Focus on the one, scoundrel. Oh, these cooldown timers are quite hairy. There we go, now him. Come on, the other one. Be a mini. And link and poop. Blocked him. This guy's a slightly more competent fighter than his friend, but uh, <coughs> he's still not that good. Okay. The finest piece of carnage I have yet to see. Excellent. I'm glad I chose that voice. Obviously, I'm going to turn into something that can employ massive force. Say perhaps an ogre. As you. Auto save, eh? Hmm. Oh, here we go. What are we fighting now? I can't even see him. A burning howl. Fight the burning howl. Are you coming up here or am I going down there? Two burning hounds. Absolutely unacceptable. Outrageous. Oh, there you go!
Okay, <clears throat> I'm definitely not faring as well in combat this time round as I did last time. I was having much, much better success. Then again, I had just got over a cold and was not coming down with a cold. So perhaps, perhaps the virus is infecting me in a special way. It's uh, just filled my uh, game playing glands and uh, it's replicating out of control. Can't be stopped. Three on one. Can I cope? There is the question. Seems to be surviving okay. Take it down. Come on, come on. Okay, ten plus down. Take down the burning now. My attacks don't seem to be connecting as often as I'd like. Maybe I need to up my skills. Let's do a little bit better. Maybe get my, uh, my next level up. This is probably supposed to be some really short, throwaway little sequence in the game. It's only supposed to last, you know, 10, 20 minutes maximum, but I'm just <laughs> so terrible. I can't, uh, I can't progress. I can't progress! I actually tilted my head a moment ago there to look round the corner. Snow. Oh, snow. Is it certainly? Uh, I don't like the ocean, we've got a really good shot on Have I got a really good shot on That's terrible. Maybe I should show the viewers, the viewer. No, 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 that was only <laughs> They're being facetious. They don't need to see that. You don't need to stare into my bloodshot eyes. No, they don't. Back to the uh, back to the action. Just one burning hound. No, of course not. Why would there be one? There's always two. That's it. Kick it in the face. <laughs> okay, good, good. Good. Oh, this one seems to be quite easy actually. No need to use the special powers. Right, we're good, are we? Combat over? Good. Okay, let's see. That way? Let's just come through that way. But, can't go that way because there's fire. Lots of fire. Oh no, there's a mouse. That's where I was going. The mouse hole. With, um, a mouse! Okay, so the Templar Dreamer is having issues controlling his anger. Good character trait. Well, a poor character trait, but you know, for a fictional person, why not? Okay, this guy's harder than the others. They may have some kind of boss-like qualities. Uh -oh. That's not on. Rascals! Take that one out. <laughs> I don't know what he was shouting, but he meant it. He meant it. when you get dumped in one of these locations that you can't get out of and it's just that little bit too long or it hasn't captured your interest. I mean this wobbly filter that's all over everything, is, that's, uh, that's starting to get a bit old now. <sighs> I don't think I can defeat that guy. I just don't think I can. But we'll, I suppose, give it another go. That's what it's all about, right? Trying. Trying leads to succeeding in the circumstances where that is possible. Is there another mouse hole I could go through? There's a massive door and a regular door. Okay, let's just run for the regular door. Go! Ha! 
Oh no, 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 that doesn't work. That is an incredibly poor idea. That was a bad strategy from the moment I didn't think it and just did it. Hmm. What the figgins? Oh my giddy gravy. We're in serious troubles now. Why am I stunned? I'm the stunner, not the stunny! <clears throat> Utterly futile overboot there. Okay, got him. Uh, uh. Failure. Abject, pitiful failure. I'm going to have one more go, and if I don't have any more success, I'm going to try another game. I think I'm going to put something else on. I'm going to break up the stream. This is going to be a first. I could even go for Microscopy Corner. Oh, heavens above. That's right. New Microscopy Corner subjects. Of course, people viewing at the moment, not you on YouTube. I mean, only people on YouTube watching are the people who've seen it before. But for you watching live right now, you've not been witness to microscopy corner before. And I genuinely have a microscope with which I bring to life, well, they're already alive, but I enlarge and illuminate insects and other such tiny things. It's great. You'll have a whale of a time. Just stick around. In a minute, we'll see some. Some damage to him, we've been more than before, so. Oh! Health! He just got healed. Did he? Or am I imagining that? Did I just. <sighs> Something tells me I'm not in a condition to succeed at Dragon Age, and I've got caught in that little cul de sac. I've been caught in this ghetto of gameplay. I know mean, it's. I'm annoyed. I want to get away from this sloth demon. He's irritating me. Oh, the music's soothing though. Oh. Oh. But let's stop mucking around with the music. Let's take a look at my library. I said quit. I said quit. Have I got, uh, have I got it set up? No, uh, it doesn't work. Uh, 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 uh. No, we'll leave the library for now. Instead, we'll do what I said I was going to do. Microscope. Microscopy. Generally, this is just for the liveies. Let's just put. I'm just going to throw a few clips in here. Bear with me one moment while I go and copy and paste them to the correct folders to get played. And I'm going to subject you to the intro music again, just because I love it. I love it. Here we go. Well, maybe I'm not, because this has taken precedence in the queue. Uh, look at that. What is that, you ask? That. That is a Mario worm. As described at the beginning of the uh, stream, where no one was watching, this creature pupates and becomes something called a darkling beetle, which is, I think, quite a special name for a creature. When I saw that, I thought, I, I have to keep one of these Mario worms, which were purchased specifically for feeding birds. So, uh, you know, don't think me some kind of monster who's gone out into the wild and captured this beast, taken it from its native biome. No, that's not the case. What we've done is bought these for feeding birds. I've looked them up on uh, Google, Wikipedia in fact, 
and found out that they turn into uh, something called a darkling beetle and that in, all you have to do in order to start this process is to leave them in some porridge oats which is amazing because like they eat it and they'll burrow into it and it'll induce pupation oh and they have to be alone apparently they're shy they don't like to pupate in public who does i mean ugh. As you can see, you've got some nice little handheld shots here. Unfortunately, with the live insect subjects, I tend not to be able to get the closer magnifications. You, this uh, microscope I have, it'll do 20 times and 200 times. But for an insect, you can really only do the uh, 20 times zoom because, uh, well, it's just too wobbly if you're going for 200. Here's me attempting to turn it over so that you can see the legs. But unfortunately, it's very capable of writing itself. It just does not want to lay on its back. They're interesting. This is me trying to film through the bottom of the tub. They're, they're interesting because they have six legs, but right at the front of that massive long body. Apologise for the cake crumbs in the sample tray. I just had an old plastic dish that um, an apple turnover or something came in, and I just plonked the insect in that to film it. Oh, there you go. If the uh, microscope pans in the right direction of that label, you will learn that that cost me 60 pence. Oh, what a bargain. Discounts galore. <clears throat> so yeah, there's your Morio worm. Uh, don't be fooled, it is not eating these uh, crumbs. It's just moving them around by accident while with its uh, attempts at locomotion. <coughs> well, apologies, my brain is melting at the moment. I'm having trouble stringing sentences together, let alone making a, a scintillating and exciting description of a, uh, a Morio worm's microscopic life. Perhaps I should bring out some golden odies. Maybe I'll look at here and I'll have a little see what we've got and uh, pull out some faves, as it were. We've got the caterpillar. We've got the sort of shieldy bug thing that was never properly identified. And the spider. Now, if you're watching and you're afraid of spiders, just type no into the chat now and I won't show you the spider. And I'm giving you fair warning you know <laughs> it's going to come up in a second if you don't say no so five four three two one oh hang on a minute that's that that's not a morio worm that's actually a pupa pupil stage of a, uh, a mealworm a mealworm oh yes mealworms are also a fine favored food of the birds in our garden <sighs> can't go on for too long like this they'll tell me off for not being about computer games not that the, you know thinking about it maybe I should uh, I should put this under computer game construction and just uh, make it research into an insect based game I'll have to get blender out I'll start modeling some insects up and then we'll come up with some ideas for games here's an idea how about <laughs> insect riders tiny people riding insects uh, kind of like I don't know maybe sort of uh, Red Dead Redemption mounted combat style thing, except it's all ants and grasshoppers and whatnot. You know, grasshoppers, pew, big long jumps, pretty crappy in the midterm range. You have to dismount to fight, really. Uh, ants, good for just trundling in. Beetles, heavy tanks. Anyway, I digress. That's not important. <coughs> let's, uh, let's make sure Twitch doesn't ban us. I don't know, giant insects. That's actually not, no, that's been done. That's been done. That's, there's a lot of giant insect games. That Earth. Defence Force 20 something something that's definitely got lots of giant insects in massive ants humongous ants hmm yes okay so now I'm going to put the spider in the right place because uh, because we've given it enough time for people to uh, people to go no I am mortally afraid of spiders as you do I mean people do that all the time I'm constantly met by people who say they are mortally afraid of spiders which in fact would imply that were they to see a spider they would die which I find hard to believe okay so the next video to come up should be should be the spider however it may well end up being a microscopy corner intro hmm. Hmm. We shall see what happens. Who knows? Who can say? Who could possibly say what will come next in this mystery stream? Oh, look at those plates. Oh, my. Translucency. Bit of specularity. Mm. If they were graphics, I'd be so excited. 
I quite like the fact that you can see those little hairy ridges down the middle of the plates. <laughs> Speaking of hairy ridges, hello, I'm back. Let me just deal with this hair situation. It's getting a bit out of control. I'm going to need to use some kind of elasticated ring to control it. Okay, so the spider didn't show up. That's a bit annoying, but we'll, uh, we'll have one more attempt to see what happens. What happens? What happens? There we go. Told you there'd be a spider. There's a spider actually in a little tub on top of my bed sheets. That uh, fine cloth pattern behind the spider is in fact the weave and weft of my bed sheet. My partner's not standing behind me now to hear me talk about filming spiders in our bed. That would definitely upset her. See, now, one of the big problems with filming insects under a microscope here, because that's why we're here, right, to talk about filming insects under a microscope. Why else would be on a gaming streaming site? Why else? The difficulty with insects is most of them, with the exclusion of things like moths, don't like the light and they try to run away from it making it incredibly difficult to film them. Well, this might be the spider where I get a really good shot of his eyeball. Their eyeballs look like Guido in, uh, is it Guido in Star Wars? The, yeah, the guy Han Solo shot first. But you know how you could see through the mask in the original version, like in the light, you could just, the, the eye was just a glass ball. Spider's eyes are kind of like that when you get up close. I think this is the footage we get to see it. I think these things are called wolf spiders couldn't be entirely sure, I'd have to check on Google, but look at those legs, oh my. There you go, look at those eyes. They're like marbles from hell. She looks kind of forlorn, with the like, comb over style hair over its eyes, it's sitting there like, oh, nobody loves me. And when they do, they eat me afterwards. Unless of course this is a female spider, in which case, She'll be the one doing the eating, probably. Mm, yummy sex. That's what it's thinking right now. I think this is a wolf spider. I saw it on one of those David Attenborough documentaries. These little pads at the end of the f those little smaller legs. I think they're used in some kind of mating dance, and they uh, move quite uh, abruptly. <laughs> I don't know why I chose. This is actually really good footage. I forgot I've got this. Hmm. If it wasn't for the hair on there, I might be able to actually do something with this properly. I could model a spider, I suppose. But I have no interest in spiders. It's all spaceships for me. <laughs> I love modelling spaceships. Oh, oh, it's gone berserk. Anyway, look, I've just really taken up a lot of your time with this little frippery, this sideshow, this uh, mucking about, essentially. So uh, maybe I should bring it back to games and have a little look at what what I've got in my Steam inventory. Now, <coughs> I'm sorry about this cold. I'm really starting to get a sharp feeling in my throat. If I pass out, don't call an ambulance. Everything will be fine. There's somebody else in the house with me and my neighbour is a paramedic. So we're all good here. Don't panic. <coughs> Crackers and cheese. So I'm going to take a look at this. Uh, see if I can get... Where's the desktop? Show me the desktop. Is that going to work? There we go. Here we go. Look, look, you can see my Steam library. Isn't that exciting? I hope I'm not revealing any interesting information here that would be difficult uh, privacy be damned let's get in here and see what we've got to play alien versus predator atom zombie smasher Ben there damn that a lot of point and click adventures in here not entirely sure that they're going to be of much interest to uh, people watching twitch but we'll see we'll see I should probably change the name of the game I'm playing on the stream as well Give foul play a go, but I, I had trouble getting that to actually play and stream at the same time. As soon as I got OBS involved, it went, nah, nah, bruv, not interested. I could give Goddess a go, I could Molyneux it up for a bit. Hotline Miami, I can't even concentrate when I'm playing Hotline Miami. <laughs> Absolute inability. 
See, I was going to play State of Decay, but it runs terribly on my machine. The frame rate is like in the single digits. <coughs> oh, the Legend of Grimrock could be a nice diversion. Oh. <coughs> Pardon me. Well, maybe I'll just call time on this beast. It has been an hour. There's nobody watching. There's nobody watching. So maybe I should just press stop because I'm starting to feel pretty rough. Pretty, pretty rough. So yeah, I'm going to take a, uh, a nighttime flu tablet. <laughs> Not flu tablet, a cold tablet. And uh, have a bit of a rest. So nighty night everybody. And this is daytime where you are, in which case time appropriate salutation. And uh, I will see you soon. Bye. Bye. Love you all great way. Like and follow, record, and all that kind of stuff, whatever, you know, social media. Great, see you later.